Welcome to The Explainer, where we break down big ideas. All right, today we're diving into something, well, pretty wild. It's a thought experiment that connects two things you'd probably never think belong in the same sentence. Over here, we've got the Mandelbrot set, that famous, infinitely complex mathematical fractal. And on the other side, a diagram of a basic Schwarzschild black hole, one of the most mysterious objects in the entire universe. So what in the world could they possibly have in common? I mean, really? Well, that's the exact question we're going to dig into. We're looking at a speculative paper by Lori Gardy that proposes a startling, one-to-one -one analogy between them. So yeah, let's see just how far this wild idea can actually go. Okay, so here's the core idea. We have to kind of step back from our standard models of the universe. The author asks us to consider a totally different approach. What if we viewed the universe not through the lens of general relativity, you know, our current best theory for gravity, but through the lens of fractal geometry instead? Now, let me be super clear about this. This is not an established theory. It's not trying to replace Einstein or anything like that. Think of it as a speculative journey, a different way of looking at things just to see what new perspectives and maybe even some testable predictions might pop out. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty. How is this analogy actually built? Well, first things first, we need a quick refresher on the anatomy of a standard, non-rotating Schwarzschild black hole. According to general relativity, you've got these three main parts. Right at the heart, there's a singularity, that point of infinite density. Then you have the event horizon, the famous point of no return. And just outside that, there's this really cool area called the photon sphere, where light itself can get trapped in orbit. So in this thought experiment, each one of those black hole features gets mapped directly onto a part of the Mandelbrot set, or M set. The singularity becomes a quasi-singularity, the event horizon a quasi-event horizon, and the photon sphere, you guessed it, a quasi-photon sphere. We're basically creating a Rosetta Stone between cosmology and fractal geometry. Let's start with the event horizon. We all know this one, right? It's the ultimate one-way door in the universe. Once you're in, there's just no coming out. Well, what's so cool is that the Mandelbrot set has something just like that. See that fuzzy boundary? Any point you pick outside that edge will always escape to infinity when you run the math. But any point inside, it's trapped forever. It's a perfect quasi-event horizon, cleanly separating what escapes from what collapses. Now, before you hit that point of no return, there's this fascinating zone called the photon sphere. Here, gravity is so strong that photons, particles of light, can get trapped, circling the black hole like little satellites. And this is where the analogy just gets brilliant. That gray area you see surrounding the main M-set shape, that acts as the quasi-photon sphere. Points that start here follow these wild, complex orbits for a while before they eventually fly off. It perfectly mirrors the behavior of light trapped around a real black hole. And finally, we get to the heart of the matter, the singularity, that theoretical point of infinite density where all our known laws of physics just break down completely. But this is where the M-set model offers a really fascinating twist. See, unlike the single, simple point of a black hole's singularity, the quasi-singularities in the M-set can be incredibly complex. As you can see from these examples, a starting point can collapse into a beautiful spiral, or even a whole cluster of nine different points. So we've mapped the parts. Now let's move on to something truly mind-bending, the visuals that this analogy spits out. You know, this quote from Richard Feynman perfectly captures the spirit of this whole thing. We're looking at the same phenomena, just through a completely different, and in this case, a strikingly visual, language. I mean, just take a look at this. On the top, you've got real astronomical objects, like the Cat's Eye Nebula. And below them? Those are shapes generated just by plotting the path of a single point from the M-set's quasi-photon sphere. The visual similarity is, well, it's uncanny. And the analogy doesn't just stop at single objects. It seems to scale up to massive structures too. On the left, there's a computer-generated galaxy cluster. And on the right, that's the actual Virgo cluster. The resemblance is pretty hard to ignore. So here's the crucial point. The model doesn't just produce random pretty pictures. It produces shapes that look like objects we find in the exact same cosmic places as black holes, from nebulae all the way up to entire galaxy clusters. Okay, so the visual coincidences are compelling, you have to admit, but for a thought experiment to be really interesting, it needs to go further. Can this analogy actually lead somewhere useful? Does it make any predictions we can actually test? 
Well, first, the model proposes this radical new way of thinking about time itself. Here, time isn't a dimension you travel through. Instead, it's an emergent property of change. It's driven by the constant repetition of the formula. And since each step is irreversible, that's what creates the arrow of time that we all experience. The paper also suggests a different way to think about gravity. Instead of the curvature of space that Einstein described, what if it's actually a kind of fractal gradient? I know, it's a huge leap. But when you zoom in to the M-set, these gradients produce patterns that look remarkably similar to the grand spiral arms of galaxies. But here it is, the real scientific payoff. The model makes a very specific and frankly kind of strange prediction that's different from standard physics. It says that the bright region of light around a black hole shouldn't be a perfect circle. It should be slightly pear-shaped. And that gives astronomers something concrete they can actually look for. And incredibly, when we look at the supermassive black hole in the galaxy M87, we see something amazing. The black hole is a little off-center, and it's sitting inside a bright region that appears distinctly pear-shaped. And when you overlay the two, the location of the M87 black hole aligns exactly where the MSET model predicts its singularity should be. Now, let's be clear. This is all highly speculative. But this thought experiment leaves us with a truly mind-bending question. Could the laws of physics that run our universe, gravity, time itself, not be fundamental at all, but instead be emergent properties of a simple, repeating fractal rule? It's a fascinating possibility, and it really makes you wonder, 